Hey everybody, this is Jeff at Critical Vibrations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Live Packs. After watching, you will understand not only how to install Live Packs that you've downloaded from this site or elsewhere, but most importantly, how to use the sounds inside in your own projects. So let's get started. I'm going to show you using the Singing Bowl Live Pack from Critical Vibrations. Now, the zip file that you've downloaded, of course, you'll want to unpack that. And inside will be an ALP file. And ALP stands for Ableton Live Pack. And that's Ableton's proprietary format that's a compressed file that contains everything inside your project. Um, and you'll see, once we double click this to open it, Ableton will launch and ask us to select a destination. Now, you can put this wherever you want. Um, for me, I like to keep project folders in my music folder. So, like I said, choose the folder, that wh the whatever destination you like, and Ableton will will save all the samples and anything related to that live pack in that, in that destination. So it won't actually open the project right away, but we can head over here to the music folder that we've selected in our example. And there it is, the Singing Bowl Sampler Instruments project. Now we can open up the live set and there it is you can see that the this live pack has two tracks and each one is loaded up with with one of the instruments in the project okay so the real question is how do we use these sounds in our own projects so the key is using the user library um, accessible in the browser in Ableton. So the user library is, of course, where you can store all of, all of your presets that you've created or ones that you've downloaded from Critical Vibrations or wherever. So here's what you do. You can either click this little Save Preset icon or as I like to do, just drag and drop it over to your user library. And I'm gonna say yes, do copy all the samples. And then notice how the, notice how the, the uh, name of the instrument is in italics, and that's telling us that it's prompting us for the name. Now, if we, if we like the name of the instrument as it is, we can just hit return uh, or retype our own new name, Singing Bowl, and then hit return. It copies the samples over, and there it is. Uh, it's saved permanently in our user library. And to show you, I will uh, load up a new blank, new blank project, and And now we can load up that instrument again in, in any new project that we want. So there you go. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And you can get this singing bowl instrument and a whole lot of other cool stuff at criticalvibrations.com. And uh, so follow for more tutorial videos. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.